Hey guys, me and Bear are out here at cemetery where his, I believe, would be his great uncle is buried. Um, George's father was an orphan when he was young and his uncle ended up getting him out of the orphanage and raising him until he went to the Marines and I'll walk over here and see his grave but George's dad worked at a barrel vault place and he actually made the marker but couldn't afford the nameplate so uh, George's sister is graciously bought purchased a nameplate and George has been working on cut a radius on it it was just a square nameplate so he cut the radius on it to fit the marker and uh, we're gonna put it in today so we got the truck and tools and just his way of fulfilling his dad's wishes so we'll show you what it looks like when we're done So you're just applying an adhesive, right? Yeah, it's a uh, one part urethane expansion sealant. So it's a sealant adhesive and allows for expansion. Okay, here we go. You did a great job. Stuff he used is, oh, let's see, I think it's called MP1. No? Can't see the name on it, but yeah, I think it's called MP1, right? Yeah, Sonneborn MP1. Oh, there it is. It's made by, uh, they actually, I'm certain just about everybody has seen at some location a precast concrete building. And this stuff is actually used in between the precast panels. Ah. is everything. Just applying the sealant. Like you said, it allows for expansion, so... So I made sure to cut the granite so it had room to expand all the way around. Have the granite marker. Plus the stone.
Hey, <clears throat> you guys get the basic idea, so if you have something like this that you need to do, hopefully this will help. I'll show it to you after he tools in the cock joint and see what it looks like at the end. Okay, here it is. Looks good. Like George said, after 58 years, he's finally getting a nameplate, but... <clears throat> but he's got it, so... A nice tribute. Thanks for watching, guys.